five, four, three, two, one. One out. Next flag up. So let's talk about um, signal flag setup on the race committee boat. Now, normally for Vespers, um, Junior will be anchored so that W, which is the typical start mark, uh, will be off of the starboard side of the boat, which means that, uh, per the sailing instructions on this side, will be the yellow signal flag. Now, you start between uh, a mark and the yellow signal flag, and you finish between the mark and a red signal flag, so you flip those uh, during the course of the event. Junior has a main mast, which has uh, four halyards, two on the starboard spreader, two on the port spreader uh, for, for use, and then there's four halyards on this aft running boom. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, wire those up real quick. Okay, so I've now gone through and wired up the flags the way uh, that I typically do it uh, if we were gonna do Vespers. Again, there's no right and wrong answer. I just find that this is very um, effective uh, as it's a, a means that puts the right flags in the right place. So what we have going down the halyards from the top are the one flag. So this is the, this is the back boom. So the one flag, the two flag, and the three flag. So these are the division flags that will go up that signify uh, which uh, division is getting ready to start. Here on the two halyards on the starboard side of the boat, I have placed the infamous Dr. Seuss flag, as people refer to it, which is the postponement flag. And, and when I am the PRO for events, I usually have this in my hand. I, I take responsibility for the P flag. I keep it in my hand. I can stand right here. Um, at, you know, with it on that outermost halyard, you know, siding the line, and, and boom, it's easy for me to raise it. The other flag that we have here on this one is uh, the X flag, the X-ray flag, uh, which is what is hosted if someone is over the line early. And so either the PRO or, or I find the thing that's effective is to have someone who's um, an alternate watching over the PRO shoulder so they're talking in a green, and that person is the second person responsible for siding the line and the person who then also has responsibility for doing the... Um, um, uh, raising of the flag. I then like to put over here on the port spreader, uh, the outer one, I like to put uh, the P flag, the preparatory flag. And the preparatory flag, remember in the racing rules of sailing, is the flag that goes up at four minutes in the sequence that we run in Vespers. And the reason I put it over here is, it's, I, is, is I find it's actually typically good to have one person who does both the P flag and the number flags so that you don't get confused about what's going on, right? And that way they remember that they go, okay, put the one flag up, then the P flag goes up at four minutes, the P flag comes down at one minute, one flag comes down, at, uh, at zero at the same time the two flag goes up. The other one that I put up here, which you typically need ready at a moment's notice, is the first repeater, uh, which is this blue and yellow flag, which is a general recall. Um, and, and it's used much less frequently, especially in Vespers, uh, but if uh, by chance there's multiple boats over early or you can't tell which boat is over, you can uh, put up the general recall and then all boats will, uh, will start again.